Alrighty folks, welcome back to the channel Tekadu again. Today we are going to upgrade the RAM and we'll add another extra SSD to our Razer Blade 15 inch base version. The whole thing will take you at least 15 to 20 minutes max and in 20 minutes you'll have more RAM. Now in this I'm going to use a PNY 16 gigs because I'm already having 16. I want to upgrade it to 24 and I'm using a 2666 megahertz RAM. Now just make sure that the RAM speed should be the same. The company doesn't matter a lot. PNY, HyperX, whichever one you pick up might be good. For good. Um, and in toolkit, I'm going to use an iFixit toolkit because that has all the tools that we require and a tray to put on all the screws about uh, so that you know you never lose the screws or anything. These are just my system specs. Um, it's a 144 hertz display. It's a early 2020 model. And I found out that PNY was the only one which was available at that time. Usually I like Crucial and I like HyperX, but during this pandemic, whatever RAM I could find, I was just trying to use it. And they're crazy expensive right now. Now, if you do not want to buy this whole kit, um, I'll put a separate link down in description for a T5 Torx screwdriver and a Phillips head screwdriver. Now let's turn this laptop around and uh, we're going to open all the screws that is at the bottom. So let's put the tray on the top and you'll see that tray has small spaces to like uh, that are separated and I will put all the screws that I have taken out from the bottom panel in one particular space. So there is a total of 10 screws that you need to unscrew. Um, it's pretty easy to be honest probably because it's going to take you like a minute or two. Um, sorry for the background Harley Davidson noise. Um, I mean, it's a bike is a bike anyways. Um, so after you've separated uh, the screws and everything, um, you do need to use that uh, plastic wick that comes with it. If you do not have that, just use any wick to remove that. And you will see the back panel is separated. Now, it's, this is a very important step. After you've separated the back panel comes general inspection. Sometimes you will see that now you can see that the RAM is totally like easy to upgrade. But sometimes there are cables running on top. We also do have to find that how are we going to attach an extra SSD? We do see a slot, but where's the SATA kind of cable? So after we have inspected that, we'll also inspect if the fans are having some dirt or not. My fans are pretty clean because I use like two hours for a day and it goes back to the shelf again. My main laptop is a Mac laptop, but I use this just for entertainment purposes. And... Uh, um, Let's open up the RAM and keep it separately. And uh, you'll see that when I'm trying to install, there is two slots, one or two. Why did I install in the bottom one? Why not on the top one? But, well, there is no order on it. You just have to make sure that those clips, you pull it outwards and your RAM comes out. And I was a little bit concerned to see a Samsung RAM installed in a Razer laptop. I do not know, but a lot of my friends actually have HyperX that comes pre-built. I do not know why I had a Samsung RAM, but it's okay. And that's it, you just push that back in and the clip falls back and that's it, your RAM installation is done. And just, you just have to make sure that you are gentle with the process. Now, here is the part for the SSD. You'll see that uh, in my scenario, your scenario will be different again. Um, it was taped to the battery. And in SSDs, I'm using a Samsung Evo 870, but then again, you can use any sort of SSD it's not a, like a you know like you have to use Samsung 870 Evo I would recommend you 870 Evo because they are one of the best SSDs right there in the market and you know that I run streams and everything so I do not want to you know compensate with quality or anything so after I've separated that SATA cable um, my job out here too is to make sure that the drive is actually working. So what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to gently push the SATA cable inside that SATA slot. And after I've connected that, I will just tape it back again, pull this, push, push this back or just place it, you know, and I'm not going to do anything. So here, out here is just for testing. Uh, later on, I'm going to fix everything. So I'm just going to test whether, um, you know, the drive is working or not and whether my system is reading uh, the 16 gigs or not um, so I'm just going to put like three or four screws so that it does the back cover doesn't fall out and after that we are going to go forward open the system and we can check it now if you want to know how to check uh, the RAM and how to format format your SSD that you have just installed um, I'm going to show you later in the video how to do it um, just by taking a screenshot 
of the process. So basically once you are done installing everything, just before putting it back, just like make sure everything is working because sometimes uh, one of these SSDs or the RAMs are faulty or anything, then you have to reopen back again. So it's better to uh, inspect everything. Just go to your task manager and check out whether if you're getting like the amount of RAM you have installed, it's working or not. And after that, you can go to, you know, like uh, uh, the task manager again and check whether your, if your SSD is readable or not. Now, <clears throat> here is the part of an SSD install. Now, this part is very careful. You have to be, you have to be actually careful because there is like two brackets and four different screws um, I think out of four, two screws are of different size. So this screw is a silver screw. So I've separated that. And uh, there is a black screw, which is kind of, kind of, I think, a little bit longer than the silver one. So I've just kept that two parts separately and I've taken that bracket out. And um, here is one more stuff I forgot to mention in the video, is that you do have to pick up something called a desktop SSD mount um, mount because those have uh, those screws that actually connects or actually screws inside an SSD. Your laptop will not include that. So the screws that I'm now using is from that desktop SSD mount. I'm going to post a link again down below. You have to use that because there is no other way that you can find these screws separately. I do not know what are they called. So I've, I actually bought the whole mount and those mount had those screws. They're very cheap. They're around about like six seven dollars max um, on amazon i will try to find the cheapest one quality does not matter out here so basically you screw that in at the bottom part of your ssd so don't be afraid or anything just just screw it in make sure it's snug and uh, repeat the process for the one at the back also it's just the same thing once you are done uh, you do have to match uh, those screws that you have separated so just be very careful when you're doing this process. Um, if you are using a mechanical drive, mechanical drive has a magnet. So I would recommend you to stay away from that center part of the section. Now, since I'm doing this on an SSD, it hardly does even matter. I can touch the casing and everything because there is no moving parts on a mechanical, oh, sorry, on an SSD. Whereas on a mechanical drive, there are moving parts inside it. So be careful if you're putting a mechanical drive uh, inside it. Also, I would highly not recommend to put a mechanical drive because your laptop will be running hot and there is, it's unnecessary in 2021 to replace like a laptop drive with a mechanical drive. After you're done, um, make sure you connect your SATA back again. So you'll see that I'm out here trying to place the SATA. Sometimes the new, since it's a new SSD, so it will take a little bit of push. So don't be afraid on that. Just push it, pull, like just uh, push it, push it. And then you place it uh, at the bottom of uh, your section of your laptop. Now, remember the screws that we are talking about. Do not confuse on those screws as I've separated them uh, in the beginning because uh, these screws have different dimensions and they have different size and width. So I know that the black long screw goes on the top and the silver small one will go at the bottom and the rest other two screws will go at the back. So just screw that back in. Uh, make sure you do not drop the screw somewhere in the board because you're going to lose it. So be careful in that process. Um, if you are not skillful enough, you can always ask for help. But since a lot of computer places and everything is closed, I decided to do it myself because, um, I mean, it's 2021. It's a very easy thing. And I think we all need to know a little bit of electronics when we have devices at home. Otherwise, it becomes like, you know, very hectic to do to look for people, those who can upgrade your RAM and everything. Now, screw those, um, uh, you know, the back panel in. I have, you remember this, there's a total of 10 screws. Please do not forget any screw. Um, I do not, I really do not love when um, I was sending my, I actually had sent my last computer, which was four years before for a repair. Um, and they forgot to put like one or two screws in it. And it disturbs me a lot, you know, like I've paid for the service, might as well put all the screws back in how hard it is. So I think that's where the DIY process actually comes into play. Um, just put all those screws back. There is no particular order of this. And now we are gonna jump in and check uh, how to do system settings.
Alrighty folks, once you have uh, installed the RAM and installed the SSD, um, this is the next step that you're going to do. Um, in the middle, I actually checked whether everything is working fine or not. Basically, there's two ways of doing this. I usually go through Task Manager and uh, in Task Manager, you go to Performance and check whether uh, your memory is showing 24 gigs or not. So right now you'll see that my memory is 24 gigs and um, I have got 19 gigs available slots two of two is used so one is using 16 the other one is using eight as long as the megahertz is 26 66 megahertz you're good because anything above that your laptop might not uh, be able to handle it or it's your motherboard is not capable of doing that uh, your uh, disk is not going to show up out here um, until and unless so don't freak out if your disk might not show up in the beginning and you might go to file manager and you're like what where is my disk as you will see that it's all out there basically it's nothing like that it's just that the SSD is not formatted yet into a format called NTFS so right click uh, go to disk management when you go to disk management you're going to see your next uh, disk which is the disk zero and all you have to do is right click and properties and you go ahead just no uh, hold on properties and from there you can actually you know like do your thing you know like so basically you can partition this into two um and i have done it in two you can keep it as one but uh, i have got different plans for both of these partitions um and after that you'll be good to go so good night uh, see you folks on another episode um i think this tutorial will help out a lot of people those who are trying to upgrade during this pandemic where everything is more or less closed so good night take care see you guys on another episode